Today we're going to look at inserting rows in Google Sheets. So to insert a row, you can select on a cell or you can select a row by clicking on the row number. We'll first start by going to the insert menu. Under rows, you can insert row above or row below. So we'll start with inserting a row above. If we want to insert a row below, you can do it just like that. Let's go ahead and clear this out real quick. Next, we're going to show you how to use the right click and you have this menu show up here and you see here we have this insert row above and insert row below. So you can do the same thing that we just did with the insert menu. Now, if you want to insert multiple rows, then you'll need to select multiple rows. So if you click and drag down, so here we have five rows selected, we can either go to the insert menu and if you go to rows, you can see now instead of insert one row, we have insert five rows. So that's how we can insert five rows above. Let's go ahead and delete this. And if we select again, we can just right click and we have the same options here. Now, one thing, if you want to insert perhaps one row above and then skip down a little bit, skip and insert one row above, let me show you a shortcut. So insert one row above. Now if we click on here, if you use the F4 key on your keyboard, it will repeat the action you just did. So then we can quickly tap through and insert multiple rows. Let's go ahead and undo this. And now let's look at one final way to do this. Let's say you want to be able to add multiple rows without having to select the number of rows each time. So what we'll do is we'll go up to extensions, macros, and record macro. We have two options, use absolute reference or relative. And this just means, absolute means it's going to insert the same row. So for example, if you're doing above row six, it's always going to do above row six. As you use relative reference, it's going to be based on where you have selected. So we want it based on where we have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to use relative reference. I'm going to select five rows insert five rows above and I'm going to go ahead and save this. Call this insert five rows. So once this saves, now we can delete these rows and now I can run this macro. The first time you run a macro, you will have to authorize it. And then once you authorize it, you'll just have to run one more time. And then you can see it inserts the five rows. So that's how you use a macro. And finally, we're just going to finish with deleting rows. And you've already seen some of this as we've gone. You can select multiple rows and hit delete. And then one thing to keep in mind is if you don't actually want to delete the row, you just want to delete the data. You can just select whatever data you want um, or you can select the rows here. And instead of deleting the rows, you can just clear them just like that. That's it for today. Tune back soon for more videos.